All right, let's check and see how you did with multiplying by multiples of 10, okay? So the first one you should have practiced on the slides was four times 30, okay? So some of you might have done 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 and added up four groups of 30 that way, which is totally fine. But a trick that I'm gonna teach you right now is whenever you multiply by a group of 10, you're gonna start with the single digit. So start with just four times three, okay? And I know that four times three equals 12. So I'm gonna have four times three equals 12. And I'm gonna move this over here so it's all in one line, there we go. Then all you have to do later is add the zero you took off. So if I add a zero, my answer is going to be 120. 120. So I took the zero away and I added four times three and got 12. Then I just added the zero back on to the end. Okay, so 70 times five. You're gonna start with seven times five and you should get 35 when you multiply seven times five. Then you're gonna add the zero on the end and your answer should be 350. All right, next one, 60 times three. You could have added up 60, 60, 60, or in your head, you could have done six times three is 18, add the zero, and then you would have gotten 180 if you just carry that zero to the end. Okay, now that you learned the trick, I want you to go ahead and try five times 50, 20 times 80, 20 times eight, I'm sorry, five times 60, and 40 times eight. So go ahead and pause the video now and try doing these next four with the trick I just taught you. And then when you're ready, play the video again to see your answers. And you can be practicing these on just any scratch paper you have at home, okay? So pause the video and do these, then play the video right back up again to see how you did. You should have just tried these next four on your own, so let's see how you did here. So five times 50, okay? You're gonna start with five times five, which equals 25. Add the zero on the end, so your answer should be 250. All right, 20 times eight. Start with two times eight. Take the zero off and start with two times eight equals 16. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and add the zero to the end, so you will get 160 for your answer. All right, five times 60. So we're gonna start with five times six, which is 30. Then we wanna add the zero to the end, and that's gonna end up being 300. And the last one here, 40 times eight, you're gonna drop the zero and start with four times eight, and you should get 32. Then you want to add the zero back on, and you should end up with 300. And 20. Right? Hopefully, this little trick I taught you helps. Just the easy trick you can do. So, you can do some problems that really look really big. So, you can just do them in your head. All right, go ahead and move on to the next slide, and you'll have more to practice when you multiply by groups of 10.